Okay, so hey guys, I'm going to be comparing the Beats Solo 3 versus the Blair Dynamic DT990 250 ohms. I'm going to listen to some music and tell you how I feel listening to these. So let me go. Okay, so right off the bat, the treble definitely sounds very lo-fi, like it's underwater. Um, definitely a lot of bass, uh, muddy, bassy, underwater. Um, you know, a little bit of coloration funk in what I can here in the high mids and treble. But um, yeah, very murky, very muddled, very lo-fi, if you want to call it that. I don't know, based on that song, I don't know if there's actually any sub-bass in this. It probably is. That song is just... Let me... Let me listen to it. With the DT990s now. Okay, let me... Okay, these are open back so I can hear myself. That's... Oh, that's always good. Okay, let me change it to... Mode2M2. Let me listen. Okay, the treble, very bright, clear, sparkly. Um, you know, again, I'm I'm kind of wondering if there's not that much sub bass in this song because um, you know it's kind of an old song, and um, you know, anyway. So yeah, the 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 beats. It sounds like the treble is trying to escape the murky waters, and it just can't. And the Biodynamic DT990s are bright, clear, shimmery. Um, again, if the pads were not worn in, there would be a massive 6 kilohertz peak and, sh you know, harshness. But instead, you just get this musical sparkle, treble extension. Um, but the, the bass, um, I'm not seeing much of a difference in the bass. Let me try to change it up. Yeah, ultimate clarity, sparkly, open, bright sound. Um, there is definitely bass, obviously, but let me go ahead and um, let me just change it up a little bit to the, the beat solos. The beat solos, the beat solos. Okay, let me go ahead and get this going. So again, I think it's because these songs are old and, you know, made the compression on them and stuff, even though these are like, I think, the official YouTube channels. I think if you watch, you know, you listen to YouTube music, they may actually have a higher quality, uh, you know. But for whatever reason, I'm just not getting on a, a lot of strong bass with either of these uh, on these songs. But... This is clearly warmer and more focused on warmth than, you know, mid bass and bass and the treble is just much lower, you know, muddled, muffled. Which kind of gives me, a lot of times like when I listen to a lot of old songs, they actually sound lo-fi because of the treble. I've I've heard some pretty harsh, bright old songs like um, um, uh, the Britney Spears song, um, 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 um,
Uh, what's it called? Britney Spears. The, 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 the shit. Um, Break the Ice, I think. Uh, that one's like pretty shrill and bright at the very start. <laughs> um, but this one. I mean, again, these, these actually do play back sound. Um, you know, they're, they're not horrid. Um, I don't hear any horrible, like, stabbing huge peaks in the high frequencies that are really distracting. Um, the main difference is the treble does sound muddled. But honestly, you know, if you listen to it, you know, it's, it's not terrible. I think you could probably get used to it to some degree. Um, my less of the, the biodynamic DT990s. It, it just sounds so clear. It's like they took off the veil. They took off the, the blanket over the speaker. It sounds much more open, clear, almost like real life. You know, it it sound it, and the and the, the 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 beat solos almost sound like muffled, like if you were you know in a closet or had a towel over your head and were listening to music in the the next room. But the the DT nine nineties is like you're right there in front of a speaker. There's there's no dampening. There's no muffle. Much clarity, detail, articulation, sibilance. It's just like yeah, boy. Amazing. 